going into the show Dear Evan Hansen, which talks so much about these illnesses, I felt very seen by it. I felt like I related to it, but I also was like, but I don't have a diagnosis. So, you know, I'm just kind of mm. playing a part and I'm just a regular teenager mm -hmm. yeah. uh, that uh, is anxious sometimes. Mm -hmm. But then going to therapy, thank goodness, my my um, incredible therapist was like, I, I think you have OCD. And I was like, okay, finally, now, now I can <laughs> kind of be off to the races and in, in figuring this out. And it's been a pretty remarkable journey uh, over the last few years to read and learn about my OCD and, and think about my OCD and how I can use it for good and, and also uh, not let it kind of define me and, and, and take mm. up so much of my life. And it's been, it's been pretty amazing, but that would have never happened if I didn't have that accessibility to that care and the kind of uh, a means to pursue that sort of self-actualization. And the fact that that is not equitable in any way, I, I'm in a very fortunate position that I can pursue that is, uh, is very saddening. It's really sad.